today what we are going to do is we are going to do a test of the Milwaukee reciprocating saw. Now this tool is brushed and the model number for this is 2621-20 and it's 0 to 3000 strokes per minute and the stroke length is 1 and 1 8. We're going to do a test on this with multiple batteries. We're going to do a test with a 3 amp hour, 3 amp hour battery, the 5 amp hour battery, and the 3 amp hour high output battery. We're going to see if there is a power difference when it comes to these batteries. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a 6x6 six by, six by 8 feet piece of wood because I need this uh, for my test videos and I decided to get a 6x6. Six six. But I don't need it in 8 feet. So we're going to test this out by cutting that. And what we're, we are going to do, we are going to use a 9 inch wood and nails Avanti Pro blade. Now we are not going to use any other blade but that, but we're going to see what this can do. So let's just get to the log. Alrighty, so we're going to measure this out. I think two feet is good. So first what we are going to do is we're, we are going to use the 3 amp hour, the 3 amp hour regular uh, XC battery, then next we're going to do the 5 amp hour, then we are going to do the 3 amp hour high output battery. We are going to see which battery works better on a brush, uh, brush tool. All right, I'm just gonna let it fall. It doesn't matter uh, if the, hopefully it doesn't hit the camera. All right, we are ready to go. And, all right, so ready? Go. Not bad. Next we got a 5 amp hour battery, fully charged. The, the 3 amp hour battery completely drained with that first cut. And uh, let's see how many bars the 5 amp hour battery has to take this out. Alright, so, ready? Go. <laughs> How many bars do we have left? We're, we're, we are now down to down to three bars. Alrighty, so we have one more cut to do. We are going to use the 3 amp hour high output battery. 
Battery is full. Let's see on how the I the high output battery works on a brushed tool. All right, so we are ready to go in. All right, so ready, go. I had an accident that flat out the I believe these are husky saw blades uh, I believe these are husky uh, saw horses and that flat out broke that so this is now garbage yeah that's this is garbage that's why you should get uh, wood ones or metal ones because a simple thing like that will easily break these. I need a new saw horse now. Alright, so as you can see behind me, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it didn't really cut the it didn't really cut it that straight. It's on a slant. The longer you take to cut something, the more of a chance it's not gonna cut straight. So this has the power to cut it, but it doesn't have the power to cut it fast to where you're gonna get a straight good cut. And the the, the edges look pretty good on that. The edges aren't uh, flaring out everywhere. Uh, so it did do the when it comes to the actual cut, it did do a good cut, but it did not cut straight, which it was supposed to. So, but this thing did a fantastic job. Uh, d are there more powerful ones out there? Yes, Milwaukee makes more powerful ones out there. Now, Milwaukee just came out with the uh, with the fuel, the brushless fuel super sawzall that actually I hear comes with if you buy it now, it comes with a free. 8 amp hour battery and so that's actually a good deal so that's uh I am gonna pick that up in the near future but yeah this thing did this thing did a fantastic job when it comes to cutting this 6x6 and this thing it it's pretty thick this wood is pretty thick and uh, I'm glad this was able to do it with with ease it took a little time but still it did it so yes so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, uh, I ha needed to cut this up and I might as well just, just do a little demonstration with this. But that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.